Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So this video is going to be about the next CSI net, net exam and since you are now having around like one month for the next exam so this is going to be the final preparation which you need to do right. So I am not going to like I am not going to give you any any kind of timetable or something because uh, that is going to be a very like that is going to be a kind of spoon feeding to you guys. I know most of you are like almost all of you are mature enough to know what is good for you and what is not right i'll just tell you a few points in this video uh, like those things which generally people miss out in the final preparation and if you will follow this thing this will help you uh, for your preparation right so i'll just give you some points regarding that that's all and i'm not going to give you like this video is going to be very precise and very short right so before starting this i'll just tell you one thing that if you are following some other strategy uh, if you have already made up your mind like what like how you are going to prepare for the next one month don't uh, listen to me now then okay just follow whatever you have uh, prepared or whatever you have planned because uh, eventually your planning your preparation is going to help this is for those uh, who have not planned for the next one month uh, who don't have any idea what to do next how to boost up their preparation right so this video is going to be for that for those students so i'll start from those students uh, who are going to give this exam for the first time okay and they don't have much idea that what to do in the last one month so for those uh, the best thing you can do like for uh, this is going to be a common thing for every one of you that if you have not solved previous year's question okay previous year's question that is from june 2011 to your uh, june 2019 so that is going to be around 17 question papers so if you have not solved these question papers uh, then this is the time you should start solving them okay now uh, it's not like that you have to take out a question paper and you have to start solving it uh, like when i say that you have to solve a particular question paper there are two things which you have to do first is that uh, you have to solve those questions which you have already prepared for like those topics which you have already prepared let's say uh, you are going for inorganic and physical chemistry as your core uh, topics for the upcoming csi net exam so take out a question paper, solve all the questions or all the topics which I have studied from inorganic and from physical chemistry and try to solve them. Up. Now, uh, like if you have taken organic also, some of the topics from organic, take them and try to solve them. So this is how you have to take uh, from the question paper. Don't go for all the questions like, like so you are leaving uh, the uh, reaction mechanism part uh, in the organic chemistry. You are not going for that for like you have already planned that, okay, this topic I'm not going to take in the, uh, in the CSI net exam and then while preparation or while practicing questions don't go for that okay or you can do one thing that you can just uh, like if you want you can just start studying a new topic if you want like if if you are thinking that you have uh, prepared very less number of topics you need to add some more topics in your preparation then start studying that topic first and then solve those questions later on okay don't go for that question before studying that topic like uh, now studying that topic does not mean that you have to like take out book and then study from that book no you have to study from the notes which you have or uh, like short notes or from the videos which are available on the youtube that will help you to prepare that topic in a, in in less number of time and that will help you to save some of your time okay so in the in less number of time you will be uh, like you will be prepared with a new concept although uh, to prepare a new concept i won't recommend now to go for a very new concept like if you have not studied quantum mechanics now if you think that now i will start studying quantum mechanics so whole quantum mechanics is not like whole quantum chemistry we're not going to cover right now you can only go for the easy topics from the quantum chemistry. so be smart enough to choose what you what you want to study uh, like what you want to cover the next topic now okay or, or a new topic if you want to cover be smart enough to understand that which topic you are taking uh, as a new topic to cover right now uh, if you have already covered certain amount certain number of topics so go for those questions now when you solve a question uh, there are two things which you keep which you have to keep in mind the first thing is that try to solve question uh, in between that time only that is from 2 pm to 5 pm okay so it is it will it is recommended that you just switch off your phone or you just keep your phone on silent just keep it aside and from 2 pm to 5 pm just dedicate that time for solving question paper okay just see that how much questions you are able to attempt in this particular interval of time okay take that question paper very seriously just like your csi net paper okay and while solving that don't look on to the answers of that okay 
just be honest to yourself just solve that question now after solving that question paper uh, when you are done with that question paper just now just analyze that how many answers you have done correctly how many answers you have not done correctly so those answers which you have missed out or those answers which you which you didn't understood that what is being asked in this let's we have studied uh, electrochemistry and yet uh, there is a question from electrochemistry which you are not able to understand that what is asked in that question so then you should go for the solution of that question which is already available on the internet like you will get a lot of uh, solutions and other things if it is not available on internet you will get on youtube right and you can ask in the facebook groups also people will help you in that so just go for that solution and then see that what was actually asked so in that way what will happen that in the electrochemistry if certain portion or a certain topic or a very minor thing which was left out that will be covered in that way okay so in this way your concept which was uh, like the concept which was already covered the the minor points which are just that is called as finishing uh, that particular topic okay just give, giving a finishing touch to that so that finishing touch will be given to that by solving question analyzing that question and working on that particular thing okay now let's say there are some answers which you have done wrong uh, you have attempted and you thought that this concept will be applied but that was not the and this will generally happen with you if you are going for organic or if you are going for inorganic okay so in that uh, you will be having like certain kind of exceptional cases of something so just draw I'll write down the correct answer in the front of that wrong answer okay wherever you have done that wrong answer just uh, like highlight that uh, correct answer of that that okay this was the correct answer okay so this will help you uh, this will just freshen up your mind that okay whatever you have studied that topic like that particular thing has exceptional also exceptional case also and that was given like this okay there are many examples uh, where uh, like you will see that from the usual trend you will see certain ex exception in the question so that you will get to know when you will solve question paper so this is very very much recommended that you have to solve all these 17 question papers uh, how you have to manage that i don't know but you have to take out the time right from 2 pm to 5 pm that is going to be for, uh, one of the most important thing which you are going to do in the next few days second thing is that if you want to uh, like yeah so how you have to do like how you have to spend the rest of the time just by solving questions no you have to revise the concept also now revising at what time you have to revise that that depends upon you if you are uh, like if you wake up early and if you want to study early in the morning you can revise it at that time if you are a late comer you want to sleep late at, late at the night and you uh, like it's it happens with me like i am i i have more concentration at night time so Uh, you can also like if you are like me, so you can also study at the night time. Just revise whatever you have studied, revise the things, and before going to sleep, revise your concepts. Very that is very important. Okay, whatever you have studied till now, just take out two three topics and revise all those things. Okay, you might have made short notes that that those short notes which you have made till now that will help you right now. Okay, so just revise from those short notes. now uh, if you want to study some new topic although i will not recommend to go for very major topics some small topics like let's say if you want to uh, like understand goc now general organic chemistry or if you want to go for analytical chemistry topics like tga is there uh, like amperometric titration is there uh, titration curves are there lot of things are there small small topics uh, which you have not covered and if you want to cover them then uh, the best way to do that i'll suggest you to go for youtube search for that topic if you get a video uh, regarding that just watch that video if you don't get a video regard, uh, regarding that take out the textbook and then study from there okay so go for videos first because that will be quick and easy and time saving method to prepare that particular topic okay so that means we have three important things to do first uh, solve previous year's question secondly revise whatever you have studied till now from your notes from the short notes which you have prepared third important thing that if you want to uh, go for certain new topic go for the smaller topics like the minor topics not the major topics one or if you are confident enough that okay you will be able to cover them in the next 10 days then then go for it otherwise don't go for the major topics major topics means the big topics like thermodynamics if you want to study now thermodynamics it's not the time for that if you are going for quantum chemistry or if you are going for co uh, coordination chemistry so that is going to be little difficult to cover that in this particular time yeah if you want some small topics like let's say uh if you are going for quantum you can go for the easy topics like uh, finding out the degeneracy then uh, finding out like different kinds of questions which are asked from there huckel molecular orbital theory is there so those things you can cover up and uh, those things will help you also in the exam um, in less time you will be able to prepare different different things okay so that that's how it will help 
so these three things are very important now let's come back to the questions which you guys which you guys have asked me of the community tab first and the very very basic and the very much asked question is that should you go for the test series right so many student ask me that shall i uh, purchase the test series of a particular coaching institute i will not take name of any coaching institute but believe me there are no good test series available in the in the market i have seen lot of test series uh, i have like uh, like uh, i was having some of the test series earlier uh, when i was preparing but those test series also were not that good so what generally is being done in the test series that you generally get previous years questions jumbled up or uh, there are some questions which are not at all relevant from the csr point of view so i will not suggest you to go for test series rather solve previous years questions if you have already done all the csr net previous years questions you have already like you you were preparing for csr net since like one year or since two of the previous two or three exams and you have already done for the all the previous years csr net exam you don't have any question now you don't have any question paper to prepare now then you can think about purchasing a test series or going for the gate questions and all but gate questions if you are thinking to go for the gate questions uh like if you have done for the csr net paper uh, the question papers from the csr net then you can go for the gate questions also but don't take gate paper as the csr paper right don't go for 3 hours don't give 3 hours to the gate paper and solve it like that okay uh, because gate pattern and csr pattern pattern are totally diff different next thing is that you people were asking that what about the online exam now this time we are having cbt exam computer based test what is going to be like that okay what is going to be what kind of experience it would be so it would be similar experience which you have already experienced in the gate exams okay it will it will be similar the interface and other things will be similar uh the only difference which i think will be the level of questions um i think it's just my feeling that the organic portion which were asked earlier the organic portions which were little tricky uh, now they will not ask that much difficult part okay also uh, it's just a belief of mine that this year question paper should be little bit easier compared to the last time uh, it's just my gut feeling i don't know uh, i am very bad at predicting question papers and the level of exam because generally whatever i predict it does not have work like that okay so i am not good at i am good at it so don't rely on this thing of mine right okay so the next thing is that so test series i don't recommend test series unless and until you are done with all the questions and other things secondly experience of the computer based test don't worry it is not at all dif uh, difficult it is not at all different it's it will be very easy it will be very uh, like friendly okay user friendly so don't worry at all uh, there are some uh, like there are some demerits of online test but everyone is facing the same thing right so don't worry about the exam pattern or the way of the exam they are conducting just focus on your study just believe in your uh, in yourself you will be able to do that right and the next most asked thing is that about the time table like how you should maintain your time table that i leave up to you because all of you are different individual and you all of you have different different time different different works to do so you can manage your own time but the main important things i told you in in the in a daily schedule in the 24 hours 3 hours you have to dedicate for question paper solving and you have to give some time for revision and some time for new uh, concept if you want to prepare okay so these three things daily you have to do and be a little uh, aggressive towards your study okay don't uh, like ha uh, one more thing aggressive means don't like uh, reduce the time of your sleep okay reduce the time which you hang out with with the friends or you waste it on the internet so you reduce that time don't reduce your sleeping time okay sleep like 8 hours sleep is very very important for a for a healthy mind okay so you have to be mentally you have to be physically fit for the exam so next uh, one month you have to take care of yourself uh, take care of your health also because weather is changing so you might get cold and other things these are very general things but take care of your health take care of your mental uh, like health because you have to take care of your uh, sleep you have to sleep properly don't demoralize yourself okay if you are not able to do a particular question it is not like that question is going to be asked in csr net okay so don't get demoralized by any of the wrong answer or anything anything which demotivates you just stay away from that okay if my videos also demotivate you just stay away from that don't watch it at all okay your motivation your uh, like your will power your confidence is going to work like 10% of work that is going to help like 10% of that is going to help you in the in the exam so that you have to maintain 
up till the next one month right okay so the next asked question uh, which is like uh, if you are like some people have asked me that they are doing job so how to manage uh, like how to do uh, like manage job and preparation at once so i am just i am just uh, like i am just considering that you have not started your preparation yet you know the basic concepts but you have not prepared for the exam and now you want to start so for you also same thing i'll tell that solve previous year's questions just go for the question paper solve them whatever topics you are not able to uh, like whatever questions you are not able to understand just try to like check the answers of that somewhere uh, just try to learn that concept and then come back and again solve question paper so this is the this is the shortest and the like fastest way to prepare for the exam there is no other way to fast like to prepare for this particular exam in the shortest and the fastest way although there is no shortcut for this exam this there is no shortcut for the hard work but you have to like if you don't have any choice then you go for this okay so these were some general questions which you guys have asked and some general tips which i just wanted to give you in this video so three four things which you have to do i'll just summarize everything first revise every day second solve question papers right third analyze whatever you are doing whether you are making mistakes or something just revise that uh, work on your weak areas right next take proper sleep okay don't compromise with your sleep and fourth take care of yourself take care of your health and study hard and it's not like this this just consider this as a as a event okay you are just going for a particular event on a, on 14th of december right so on 15th of december so just take it as a event just be happy about it be excited about it don't feel bad don't lose confidence everything is going to be well okay so at this point i'll just end this end this video up thank you so much for watching guys have a great day and see you bye bye